It is Indy's number one station for the hip hop and R&B Hot 963. Your man B Swift in the building today. Got a special guest with me, B.O.B. What's poppin'? Bands, bands, bands. Robbie Ray Bands. Bobby. What's up, man? What's going on, man? I'm chilling, man. You you out here, you moving, you grooving. What's good? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm growing, man. Got, got new music on the way. Got a tour on the way. Let's talk. Let's go back to B.O.B. first coming into the game to where B.O.B. is at now. Mm -hmm. Is this what you envision? With um, all of those late nights, you and TJ <laughs> traveling and, you know what I mean, in the vans, running around the country. Is this where you envisioned you would be at this moment? You know, yes and no. I mean, you know, it's it's like, you know, when you when you make a plan, you, you know, you think you're going to go straight there. You know right. what I mean? It's not like running track. It's more like navigating through the woods and <laughs> climbing over mountains. and You know what I mean? So... It's a lot that it's a lot that I learned, man, and like that I wouldn't have learned if it would have been a straight shot, you know what I mean? So uh I'm I'm very grateful for where I'm at, but I'm not like I never get to a point where I'm like, ah, oh, I made it. Like, comfortable. Oh, I'm comfortable. Yeah, it's like I'm I'm just always trying to <clears throat> always trying to um accomplish more, you know what I mean? And and, and then not even just it, you know, it's not even just about what I haven't done, it's just about doing what I have done better. Right. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much where I'm at with it. But man, it's been a it's been a, a hell of a journey, man. Just from starting, you know, um recording in the basement, doing TJ's DJ's conference, doing open mics, you know what I mean? To to putting out all the mixtapes to finally getting a, a first album to be put on a, a world platform and, you know, to to be able to cross back over and do urban music and you know, it's just it's been a it's been a, 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 a fantastic movie. It's been, a, it's been an odyssey, man. <laughs> 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 now, like you said, you you've done a lot to it. Where you like you say you've hit a world platform with certain records, and it's bigger than the states. It's bigger than hip hop. It's no genre music, basically. Yeah. You know, shout out to the label. But like when when you sit in the studio and you say, "All right, this ain't the typical Bob record that Hot ninety six three or Hot one oh seven is gonna play. Mm -hmm. This is something different." Have you always said back, like, I don't know if we should do this. I don't feel comfortable because I don't want the people <laughs> looking at me or my fan base to look at me crazy. Like, why did I do this record? Man, it's been a couple records that uh, I passed on that became hits. And, you know, I, I didn't, uh, you know, I, I didn't miss them when they, you know, when they popped off. It's right. Just, some stuff, like, like sometimes as artists, you got to, you got to do stuff, um, well, you have to be mindful of like your brand identity, you know. And whereas some checks can hurt you, most you know definitely. What I'm saying it's like it's like uh, you know you gotta really do things that are consistent with your brand identity. And sometimes that requires turning down a, a hit record, or or you know doing stuff that maybe a little too far outside of it. Now, <clears throat> me, I'm a little I'm a little more versatile, so I can do like a lot of different things that you know I can get away with, like you know playing the guitar. Or you know, rapping or, or doing a strip club, or you know <laughs> what I'm saying? It's like it's a lot of different things, but I think it's just about the, your brand, man. As an artist, like what what really identifies you, and what's and what's gonna keep people you know rocking with you. Now you've done a great job at that, and from Strange Clouds to you know all the rec great records you've dropped. But let's talk about the current single right now that I love so much. Too lit, oh lit, oh lit. That's my joint right there. W where did that come from? What what made you say, yo, this is it? <laughs> what made me say this is it was like, okay, it's a song I, I I recorded, man, and like, it was just like, it was just a, a idea, really, just like a demo idea I did, and you know, 30, 30 did the beat, and so I would play it at like parties or or you know, I, like whether I be whether it be a house party or I'm at a club or a day party, I like. You know, sneak into the DJ booth, like, yo, play this real quick. Don't, don't say that. You know, just to get feedback. Right. And it was like good feedback. I'm like, damn, man, I, I'm, I think I got something with this. I don't know. So, you know, I waited and waited. I kept playing it. I'm like, man, this really might be a record. And, and so, you know, it's really just the the confirmation of, of 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 it being tested, of me being able to test it. Like because whenever a DJ get a new record, he gonna play it, or you know, he got he gonna touch it one time to see what it does. Right. And so I got to see that first, like firsthand experience, 
and not necessarily like an A&R or a label head being like, this was a hit record, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you was your own A&R, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. got a chance. Now, how dope is it? How dope is it to be able to do that? You know, especially with how the music world is today, thanks to streaming, thanks to uh, YouTube and all of these other places where you can put music on SoundCloud and you get an instant reaction. But to be able to say, all right, I'm going to go to 10 cities while I'm hanging out in these cities. You know, I'm just being me. I'm going to play this record and see, and then I'm going to go back to the label and I'm going to fight with them on why this is supposed to be the single. Well, luckily for me, man, I'm this this uh, this album that I got coming up is, um, is independent, you know, um, so I don't really have to go through the the, the same channels, mm-hmm. you know, but it's, it's just it's just fewer middlemen between me and the fans. You right. know what I mean? Which is always good. And so now, you know, I'm in a position where I can really, you know, just it's like a it's kind of like the, the elements mixtapes that I put out. Um, I was in a place where I just wanted to make un uninfluenced music. No outside influence, just me. Like, I produced all the records, wrote all the songs, um, came up with the concepts for all the album artwork. And so it just really became, it was like, dang, man, people really like this, you know what I mean? And, and granted, it didn't get as much exposure as, like, the huge pop records and the big albums, but it was like I saw what it, the, the impact it had on people. So they let me know that, like, people do still like good music, you know what Most I mean? Most definitely. Even though we're being fed. You know, just what we've been fed. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they they feeding us the GM. You know, all yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the GMO. But like, yeah. like I was in the club the other night, and then the Kendrick, we gonna be all right. And like the whole crowd knew it word for word. I'm like, I'm like, see, people still, you know, what I'm saying, like some lyrics still win. Bars always win. Always. Yeah. Um, being going the independent route this time versus the label route. Was that the decision you felt like was going to be the greatest decision? Because, like you said, you can make what you want to make, and nobody can tell you what not to do. <clears throat> being being having the experience that I have and the team that I have, yeah, I feel like it's definitely a a, um, a great decision. Um, now, if you like, I don't know, man. It's hard to say, like you know, because you could be new in the game and do independent and do great. Like, look right. at uh, what um, what's my guy name? Chance. I can't believe, yeah, Chance. Like. He ain't got a he ain't got a uh, album, right? <laughs> not real. I mean, it's a mixtape album. Mixtape, yeah. It's, it's not, something it's up there for screen. It's not a yeah. And so, um, um, even your boy, uh, uh, what's his name? I can't I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. But um, it's been people who've done it independent. But it's really about your team, man. It's really about your 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 team and the people around you and how effective they are and. You know, a lot of people, some people think they got a team, but they just got like, yes, man. You know, they just got cheerleaders. And it's like, <laughs> you got to you gotta really architect your, your, your business infrastructure appropriately. All my local artists watching this interview, that message is to you. It's not just about having people around you telling you every record is great. Because yeah. a lot of people do that. And I'll be like, bro, that record's not. Nah, well, my not, people man. say, I'm like, nah, bro. <clears throat> and it's like, art, like, uh, like the, way I, the way I made music, like, you just got to record music. Like, every song is not going to be. The one, like, <laughs> that's why it's called the one, cause it's not <laughs> all of them. It's, it's the one. <laughs> well, this, this this new album you're working on, how do you classify the sound of it? Um, I feel like the sound is, man, it's really a little bit of everything that makes people love Bob. You know what I mean? It's got it's got the, <laughs> like, I don't want to give it away, cause it's so many it's so many dope surprises, man. It's like, you know, a lot of people like. B.O.B. for the pop records. They like the guitar B.O.B. They like rapping B.O.B. They like the features that I get. They like, you know what I mean? And so all of that is really, is really into the album. And it, but it's every song is is me. It's no, you know how you can listen to an album and you and, and you can tell it was like, well, this sounds like it was produced in L.A. Or right. Like this, this oh, sounds he had like an influencer a, on this yeah, record. Yeah, it's, this sounds like a songwriter. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? None of that. It was about that one song that just don't even sound like the artist wrote it. <clears throat> so like this is is none of that. It's none of that. It's all, it's all me. It's all Bob. That's so dope. You know, um, I, I'm doing a lot of the production on it. Thirty Rocks are doing a lot of the production. You know, Thirty did Folit, um, Jock Beats are doing a lot of production. Mm. Jock Beats got a big record on there. You know, Jock Beats on No Genre. Shouts out No Genre. And so it's just a it's a um it's a dope it's a dope masterpiece. Let's talk about No Genre before we end this. 
Tell the people about No Genre if they're not hip to what and who's all So No Genre is my label. Great label. No Genre, great, no particular category of music. <laughs> <laughs> it's the term No Genre. Uh, Shouts out to uh, London J, Jock Brr. Beats, Javi. Brr. We here. And then we, ju- we just did a joint venture with uh, London J and uh, Grand Hustle. Oh, dope. So, you know, London going up, man, doing big things, man. Proud to, to introduce him to the world, man, and, and to be a part of of his his movement, man, because like he he one of them ones, man. You know, you got one of them ones, man. One of them ones, right and there. Jock ja Beats, man. Jock Beats like Jock Beats like Stevie Wonder mixed with Chance the rapper mixed with Andre three thousand. Oh like wow, it's, it's a it's, like he's so like he could play anything, man. Like he can play any instrument. You can invent an instrument. He gonna know how to play <laughs> it somehow. And you know, he's just real super talented like that, man. Now before we go, you, since you brought. You know, uh, London teaming up with Grand Hustle. I know you have a great relationship with the Grand Hustle yeah. family, as you know, Tip and you were, did a lot since, of records since, together. Since high school, man, I've been talking with Grand Hustle. Man. How much have has Tip been like a big brother to you and, and giving you the advice you need coming through this crazy, weird industry? <clears throat> man, you know, t- like Tip Tip is like that, man. Tip is like everybody big brother, man. It's like he really had, you know, had plays that role or well, not plays that role. It's just like. It's just him, man. He you know? accepts it and, and yeah. makes you family. Yeah, you know, it's it's like it's like Snoop Dogg, man. Snoop Dogg, everybody uncle, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> Uncle Snoop. <laughs> so yeah, man, it, it's it's a it's a great you know, it's a great um organization and, and, and just, just a good person, man. He's a good stand up dude, man. Like you don't meet it ain't too many people like that in this game. No, man. it's not. It's a, it's a game full of snakes, man. So you know, when you when you when you you know when you know a good one, you know yeah. what I mean? Now, the good ones. I, I, I'm going to run you through my rapid fire questions, so you got to answer these joints. You ready? Oh, That's what I do, man. All right, here we go. Your favorite sports team? Uh, Atlanta Falcons. That's a good pick. How'd you feel after that game? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> if, you could, if you could load three songs on your iPhone, what three songs are those? Thug Love, uh, Bone Thugs featuring Tupac. Um, got to put Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Uh, <laughs> and... Um, Right now, currently, I'm gonna put "Mask Off" by Future. That's my joint right there. <laughs> if you could work with anybody, dead or alive, who do you pick? Ah, uh, James Brown. Great pick. If you could put together an Atlanta All Star song with five artists or less, who do you grab? Bob, Childish Gambino, Future, uh, Ray Shremmon, <laughs> <laughs> and uh. Andre 3000. <laughs> I was wondering if you was going to put Andre on that list. Dead or alive, if you could see one performance from any artist in the world, who would you pick? A performance? Michael Jackson. Of course. Th- that's everybody's like, answer. Psh, hands down. <laughs> I think that's everybody want to see I ain't Mike. never got to go to a, con- a Michael Jackson concert, man. Me neither. I was so mad. Dang. Like I was I'm ready for def- that tour. I'm definitely going to go. Yeah, I was going to catch that tour <laughs> when it happened. I was on the way to it. No, I appreciate you coming to hang out. We're going to hang out in a little y'all bit. y'all having me, man. For sure. Naptown, you got to pull up on us. We coming to Epic Lounge tonight, baby. We're going to turn up, and you never know where else we're going to pop up in the city. B.O.B. is definitely here, here with us. So, so come party. Come hang out. He ain't got the good toss, so that means we, we hang My hands is free, ladies. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> it is Hot 963.